This is another episode of Time With, and today we're spending time with Austin. Now, Austin, how you doing, bro? Doing good, bro. Made it through another day of work. Another day, another dollar, huh? Yes, sir. Living the dream. So today, of course, we're going to talk a little bit about you, a little about your favorite kind of music, a little bit about whatever we normally talk about, you know, just random conversations, having a good time, enjoying time with you, because at the end of the day, it is my pleasure, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure it's yours too, because we enjoy each other's friendship and relationship. So here we are doing this podcast. I remember you were one of the first persons signed up. So, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Uh, I just thought it'd be fun. What? I mean, have you heard? You've heard podcasts before, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. You know, I uh, I really like Joe Rogan's podcast. I, uh, I don't really listen to it, but I, I watch it on YouTube, clips of it and stuff. And then uh, I watch uh, the uh, Hog Sports Live podcast, you know, with Trey Biddy. Got to keep up with my hogs. Woo pig. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. That's cool. So, I mean, it's interesting to know what what, what drives you to buy the podcast, you know? Because what intrigued me was more of a radio station type vibe, you know? Right. That's really what the podcast is nowadays right. or whatever. And that's another thing. I've always, like, I always thought it'd be cool to, you know, be on the radio. Yeah. Like, and, you know, podcast, you know, gives you that opportunity kind of, you know? Gives you that vibe. Yeah, yeah. It does. It does. Yeah, because you're not... There's no video. Yeah. I like that. I also like to start off that way, actually, too, because I'm shy myself. Right. So, I want to start in a way to, like, I don't know, get people motivated to be engaging and then get myself comfortable and learn throughout the way. Because eventually, I do want to have my own studio, maybe one recording or whatever, you know, but that's one day. Who who knows? (laughs) Right. So, but as of now, we use what we got. That's what my math teacher always told me and taught me uh shout out miss smith in fourth grade I, no when i was in fourth grade it was sixth grade i believe somewhere around there yeah but <coughs> it's just things that stick to you, you know right just things when you're growing up there's little little details they may may not stuck to somebody else but they stick to you right so i mean wh- what is austin about um, dude, Austin has been about so many things in his life. I don't know why I'm talking in third person. I sound like an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> but, uh, no, man, I've, I've been thinking about this because, you, you know, I kind of asked you, you know, what we we're going to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, and I got to thinking, you know, what's my favorite music? Well, I look back and it's it's changed a lot throughout my life depending on you know what I've been focused on in life at that time and you know what I relate to because that's what I look for a lot in music is um what I can relate to and what speaks to me Mm -hmm. um uh, and that's why like you know a lot of people talk about you know, oh, I listen to this kind of music because I like the beat or I like the rhythm of this. But for me, it's always been about the lyrics. Mm-hmm. Like, I love a good beat, but I want I want to hear lyrics that I can relate to, mm-hmm. that speak to me. And, um, and, and m- even if it's maybe not something I can, I can relate to, I, I can believe it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like, I like some, uh, I don't listen to a lot of rap, but, like, the rap I listen to, like, I like N.W.A. and, like, Kevin Gates. And it's because, like, I believe what they're saying. Yeah. Like, I actually <laughs> believe that they live this one. That life. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what I look for in music, you mm-hmm. know? Stories. Stories, you know? True life. Mm-hmm. You know? Tell me, tell me about you. Tell me, you know, life through your eyes. Yeah. Tell it to me so I can relate to it, to, yeah. so I can picture it. That's, so. that's actually, you know, like, bro, when I write, that's, I like to put myself in different perspectives. Like, I don't like writing just for myself, but, like, I like to see movies in my head. Right. So. I feel that. Maybe there's not somebody I know that's living that life, 
But it's possible. Anything's possible, you know? Any little scenario can be possible. So I just get creative in that form. And I just start writing. Like, there's, I can come up with a lot of crazy love stories. Love is just one of the things that I like doing. Like, writing about. Because it's beautiful, you know what I'm saying? I feel you, dude. So, I feel you on that. Um, That's one, bro. And the another thing is teaching people, like... You know, I know you... We we often talk about politics or whatever, but I want to focus on the positive side. You know what right. I'm saying? So like, what um, brings people together as opposed to what tears people apart? Exactly. So in the music, I would like for it to be more pushed about how to understand, I guess, taxes and laws and shit like that. Because we need we need to know that. You know what I'm saying? And I see it a little bit, but it's just being bashed. It's not really like, bro. People are not really reading into it. Not really... They're not looking into it. And and really understanding how a lot of things work. Mm -hmm. So... That's one of the things I I would like to do with my music is educate in the form. In any kind of form. I feel that. Yeah. And I would like to push facts more than anything, of course. But in a a good, vibey way. And I feel like my energy and music... My style is bouncy. I like... Good groovy shit, you know? I feel you. And, um, so yeah, that's a little bit about that. So, like, first, let's start off by listening to your first, uh, your favorite rap song, my bad. My favorite favorite rap song. Okay. Um. Not your first favorite rap song, but just your favorite rap song right right now. Um, it's probably gonna be, um, it's definitely Kevin Gates. Um, let me look. I just listened to it earlier today. Oh, yeah, eventually I want to have equipment where I can, I guess, be Googling shit over here. You know what I'm saying? Because Joe yeah. Rogan has somebody, but I want to be the motherfucker looking this shit up. That's it. What is the, your, the song called? Uh, Walls Talking by Kevin Gates. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and play it. And then when we get back uh, after done playing it, we're going to talk about why it's your favorite song. All right.